Hello everybody, welcome once again to my site. Today cleaning the flue on my boat, the wood burning stove that I designed. It took me over a year to design this stove. As you can see she comes out and when I got her out she is clinkered right up and I mean right up. 75-80% of her flue is blocked. But it doesn't take me long when she's out. You um, you can see the little bit in the middle there, 75-80% is blocked. All she needed to run is 20%, so she's still running okay. But um, anyway, I got her out. As you can see, her, after a few taps with a crowbar and a hammer, whoop, whoop, there's my hand in the bottom. Nice and clean again. So um, anyway, the fire runs. You can see this is how we take the ashes out. I've got a couple of little tools that I use. One for scraping ashes out. And one for getting the um, embers out of the fire that's left over. There's a flat plate on the top that I added. I made it bigger because it... It needs to hold a big plastic drum full of water, which is my shower bottle. In the summer, I leave it outside in the sun, but uh, in the winter, I just dump it on top of the fire and it gets heated up. There's my shower, and at the bottom, you can see there's a bung that drops into that big black bowl and sucks all the fuel up, and I have the shower. Anyway, there's the door to the fire. It is 100% airtight. When it's locked tight, it is pulled tight with this little jacking device and there's no air going in or out of that, oh, that door. Now the bottom door on the bottom, oh sorry we're going to the feet first, there's four little logs that um, when they're unscrewed and pulled out it allows the fire to drop down about two inches and it allows it to drop off the, the only flue gap in the flue that there it is and that's the only bit it allows me to drop the fire two inches to get it down below that and put her out. It takes all the two minutes to retrieve her out from in there. Anyway, there's the system. There's no air intake here at all. This fire can, if you leave that door open, there's a little gap there if you look closely. The gap difference between the, the fire and the outside door is enough to allow air in to keep her smouldering. The little weight is a balanced weight to keep the door open when it's open. Anyway, this fire took me over a year to design. I'm taking it backwards and forwards and uh, it burns well but uh, I've got a couple of pound glove uh, shop gloves there and a few tools the triangle one is for breaking out the ashes the hook one is what I put out the chimney now and then to clean the chimney temporarily and I don't use a scraper above the fire there's a little fan that plugs into a USB fitting and that blows down around the fire and blows the heat all off the fire all around the van in the cupboard, removable cupboard that comes out without any tools, is a diesel heater, Chinese diesel heater, £95 worth every penny, burns sweet as a nut, never let me down from day one, I've had it over a year now, running perfect. When the tank goes back in, there's a bar there, as you can see it comes down, stops the tank going back against the hot exhaust. Anyway, there's the fire all fitted back in. And um, as I say, she's running lovely. I've got her going tonight as I'm sat here making this video. And I've got her on very low. She's just keeping the slight chill off the air because it is a warm night tonight. But the fire does look very nice. As I say, I'm rather proud of it. It took me like, backwards and forwards to Bristol with it over and over to get it right. And now I've got it right. Double flue on the chimney. There's no back drafts or nothing. Anyway, the boat's tidy, but look at the state of the patio. I've got another job on the patio I've been doing. Hatch covered doors off in my boat, off the hatches on the back of the boat. They're painted now and they just need a coat of um, sand and another coat of paint. As you can see, Lyra's tail, she brushed against it. There is one of my little power battery drills. Um, I used to have it powered into the 12 volt with the battery in there, but that meant every time I disconnected it, the um, battery would flash over on the terminals. Anyway, what view have you got with your back door today? It's a lovely day today. I'm walking the beach, funny enough, talking about drills and tools. Walking the beach, you find some funny things washed ashore. A set of tool drills. They're all there, looks like they've never been used. They're rusted to hell, they need a good sharpening. I've cleaned them, I've desorted them, but they're ready to go again. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, as always. Peter rest out for now. Subscribe, it costs nothing.